What's up guys, Rogue9 here. If you watch the occasional Rainbow Six livestream by Pro League players, you may have noticed that quite a few of them will play on a non-native aspect ratio, particularly 4 to 3 instead of the 16 to 9 ratio that is common on most screens nowadays. Allegedly squishing your graphics down into a 4 to 3 ratio gives you a competitive advantage, but is that really true? Should I be playing in 4 to 3 if I finally want to hit that platinum rank for this season? There's only one way to find out, time for some tests and analysis. So the argument for playing in a lower aspect ratio is that it makes your targets larger. Ok, let's compare my native 16 to 9 with the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. And yep, the SWAT truck here is definitely wider although not taller. So in a way yes, if you keep the same field of view or FOV angle and switch to a smaller aspect ratio you will get a stretched view that makes your target wider and therefore in theory easier to see and easier to hit. But things are not quite that simple. See the downside is that by stretching your image you lose a chunk of your peripheral view from each side so there's definitely a trade off here. You get a larger target but won't be able to see as much to the left and right of the direction you're looking in. And it's still not quite that simple because we've not taken a change in FOV into consideration yet. Here watch what happens when I switch from 4 to 3 with an FOV of 75 to 16 to 9 with an FOV of 60. Notice how the peripheral view remains exactly the same, we can just about see the red ladder on the right and the tree on the left, so there's no advantage or disadvantage in terms of your field of view. When we compare the truck size, we can see that they're both exactly the same width, but the 16 to 9 image is taller giving you a larger target. So if you really want the strongest possible possible zoom effect and the largest possible target on screen, the first thing you should adjust is your FOV not your aspect ratio. Playing on a low aspect ratio but high FOV is not only going to look ugly and squashed but it will actually result in smaller targets compared to going for a smaller FOV and normal aspect ratio. And come to think of it, why is 4 to 3 supposed to be the gold standard for competitive gameplay? The graphics options in Rainbow Six Siege also offer an even smaller ratio of 5 to 4. So if you're going to go for maximum squishedness, why not go ahead and use this ratio instead? So when it comes to the current trend of using 4 to 3, my conclusion would be that yes, it can stretch your targets out a bit, but the only situation in which it makes sense to go for any of the smaller aspect ratios is if you combine it with the minimum FOV setting. And when you do end up going for a ratio of 5 to 4 with an FOV of 60, yes you will definitely get a zoomed in picture, but this will come with a massive loss of peripheral vision. Can you get used to this? Sure you can. But is it objectively better than having more view to the sides? I don't think so. At the end of the day it's down to each individual player to weigh up the equation of field of view versus zoom factor. For me personally the optimal is somewhere between the two extremes. I don't want to sacrifice all of my FOV to get maximum zoom. This kind of feels like walking around while using low powered binoculars. You know that feeling right? When you get cheap 3x binos and then try walking around the house with them, right? Oh ok, uh, maybe it's just me who does that. Anyway, weird pastimes aside, in Rainbow Six I also need a decent zoom factor to be able to see, identify and hit my targets, so going all the way to a 90 degree FOV is not my thing either, and I certainly don't need to go to a larger ratio than my native 16 to 9. The bottom line of all of this and the conclusion is that if the 60 to 90 degree FOV settings are not enough for you to achieve your desired zoom and peripheral view balance then you can take the image to greater extremes by choosing an aspect ratio that is either larger or smaller than your screen resolution but you should never combine a small aspect ratio with a larger field of view or conversely a larger aspect ratio with a smaller FOV, it just makes no sense. But of course that is just my conclusion based on the tests I ran to compare the different settings. Given how many people swear by the 4 to 3 ratio I almost wonder if there's more to the topic. Did I miss something? Do you use 4 to 3 or even 5 to 4? Let me know in the comment section below, I would really love to get your input on this. 
And finally, in addition to the aspect ratio experiments, I've also been testing out all of the other graphics settings in Rainbow Six Siege. So if you're interested in a full guide to the best settings for performance and competitive advantage, make sure you watch the next video coming out soon. Until then, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.